Well, the NHS will provide uh, treatments for clinical conditions rather than cosmetic situations. We don't believe that laser refractive surgery is cosmetic because so many patients get a lot of benefit from being free from spectacles and contact lenses. Uh, but the NHS, of course, has a limited uh, amount of funding, and so there are very specific reasons for doing laser refractive surgery on the health service to do with disability, pa patients that have actually been disadvantaged by something that's happened to them where they would benefit from having laser refractive surgery. So I'll give you some examples. With cataract surgery, although the techniques are very accurate nowadays, it is possible to end up a little bit short-sighted in one eye or a little bit long-sighted in one eye or perhaps some astigmatism and then the patient finds that the two eyes aren't balanced. One eye's done very well after the cataract surgery, the other eye's a bit short-sighted. Well, instead of having to repeat the cataract surgery, we can do laser refractive surgery to correct the imbalance between the two eyes. Uh, and that's a very useful, uh, relatively simple way of correcting the problem. Patients, for example, who have corneal transplants often will have high astigmatism. They'll often have high degrees of short sight or sometimes long sight. And again, because that's a clinical condition, they've had their corneal transplants to eliminate some clinical problem then they are eligible for health service treatment to try to eliminate the need uh, for strong spectacles or spectacles that don't correct the astigmatism properly. We also have another group of patients that we treat under the health service with laser refractive surgery. And these are patients who can't physically put their spectacles on or take their spectacles off. Or their spectacles slip down their nose and sadly they're not able to push the spectacles back up their nose. And I think you can tell the group that I'm getting to I mean, patients who've had a stroke, patients who are tetraplegic, quadriplegic, patients who can, can, cannot physically, uh, uh, they don't have the ability to move their spectacles around. We've treated patients with Parkinson's disease, patients with various neurological conditions where they shake too much to be able to put their glasses on or take their glasses off, patients with motor neuron disease. I've treated patients with various uh, relatively rare neurological conditions. And we've also treated patients with epilepsy because there uh, the danger is that if they're wearing spectacles and they have a fit, the spectacles can get smashed into their face. And so again, we've treated not large numbers, but we've treated some patients over the years uh, with epilepsy to, to eliminate the need for spectacles so they no longer have that danger of injuring themselves. So it's, it's a small group of patients. And here at Moorfields, about 5% of our patients have laser refractive surgery of one sort or another under the National Health Service, which suggests, of course, that 95% of patients have private treatment.